It's the views from the vault, live and direct, and it slaps The finest to fit into community built on caps Sponsored in part by the best in the business No suggestions of fitted to classics and vintage New era sickness, fire in the mix, it's ridiculous It ain't no secret to the dopeness If you not focused, you left hopeless Speaking the science of drops and what's tops Pierre, Leon, Jason from the vault For bringing you nothing but hot Best of the best, exclusives and clean vision It's a distinct mission in the embroidered thread of a system To bring you nothing but the real, just link and get with it All keepers, no sleepers, no weepers, you know what it is BP merch work the sequence first, bringing the work with the fits. It's the moment you've been waiting for, it's dubs and somersaults. Welcome to a whole nother level of fitted. It's views from the vault. Hey guys, welcome to the vault. Uh, Leon and Pierre here. We're here to give you guys a little bit of uh, exclusive content. My fitted is back with the, the Lucky Charms Bison hook pack. Um, Pierre has them in hand. We're here to talk about it. And uh, yeah, Pierre, take it away. You know, listen, man, I, I don't know if we if we could have imagined uh, this logo taking off the way it did this year. But um, you, this one actually is up against a lot of the MLB logos, the hype logos this year, like the mountains and stuff like that, mm -hmm. you know. And really, it's it's because of John Jay. Yeah. Stores can't That's, keep it in stock. No. And I think, like, the, the Walderspoon is the one that started it, right? But I'm going to go back a little bit. Okay. So I've got a few um, has to show that. Were released were recently released by toppers right but they were in fact like um older my fit is releases from like the 2012 2000, 2013 sort of time frame yeah. but it's cool like pat brought him back you know um john loved that pat brought it back you know it's like some of his old stuff and it's really cool so i'm gonna show the i'm gonna show these two first so remember like people would think this just started happening this bison's hat was originally released back in uh, 2012, 2013-ish. Mm -hmm. um, recently brought back by Toppers. This one has got that like forest green uh, crown with the red visor, gray under visor. And of course, that metallic out uh, Buffalo Bison's logo. This thing is just beautiful. And another one that came from that era was this Bison's cat little two-tone action with like kind of New York Mets or New York Nick sort of colorways. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, this is beautiful, man. I mean, so again, this is from like uh, 2012, 2013-ish, um, originally by my fitteds and uh, Toppers um, brought it back just recently. And of course, you know, John Jay was flattered that the, he saw these come back out. So, um, so that's all, you know, that's, that's what, like 10 years ago? 10 years ago it doesn't sound like a long time ago but you know when you do start doing the math it's it's, it's a long time ago <laughs> yeah yeah for sure now you got the uh now let's fast forward a little bit to earlier i think it was this year right Couldn't the it be the late last year too or late last year yeah whenever it was it was a, yeah. now this thing is probably one of the biggest hats of the past couple of years yeah you know hooked just... to the sean wolderspoon air max 97s by nike um this thing is just sick and this thing really started the hype train heavy on the yeah. bisons right because this is when you started seeing it popping up everywhere because he dropped this sold out then he did the pre-order and then the extras sold out like it was oh, God, multiple yeah, yeah. times yep i was lucky enough to grab two of these one to wear and one the store you see this one's still stickered up mm -hmm. all right now now, fast forward a little bit farther, right? And you had, uh, you had uh, the cereal pack um, kind of kind of hit the scene from my fitteds. They had some, you know, like the Honey Nut Cheerios. They had all kinds of different hats. But the one that, in my opinion, that was the highlight was the original Lucky Charms. Yeah. Look at this thing. Crazy. Cot red cotton crown and visor. That green button on the top. Metallic everywhere metallic everywhere, everywhere. Just beautiful beautiful hat man this thing is just so sick if he ever brings this back man i'm getting another one but this thing is crazy look at mm -hmm. it so and what's what set his uh cereal pack apart from from kind of the other people was the use of um minor league teams i believe oh yeah his his milb usage allowed for him to do cooler and crazier things and this was one of them you know i mean even look at the back hit on this thing it looks like a marshmallow yeah it's, crazy. it's just crazy yeah it looks like yeah you're right it looks just like that so now 
you know, the hat I'm wearing is, is one of the three new ones, but there's three new ones. And I believe there may be a fourth one, you know, a little bit later that didn't land at the same time. I, I, I think I could be allegedly. wrong. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. But we'll start with um, this one. So the one I'm wearing right now is um, the Swiss Miss. Swiss um, Miss hot Swiss. Lucky, Lucky Charms Hot Chocolate. Was this the same one you wore in the vlog and people started freaking out? No, no. I'm going to show that one next. Okay. Okay. Look at this. This thing's crazy, right? Again, tricked out metallic thread. We went all out. Um, yeah, it's nice. I love and when you see the I box, these. it's hooked like perfectly. Oh yeah, perfectly. I went to the grocery store to try to take a picture in front of it, but I can't find those uh, those uh, hot chocolate, those Swiss Miss Lucky Charms hot chocolate boxes anywhere. So mm -hmm. probably maybe, not cold, maybe it's not cold enough. Oh no, it's cold enough. Damn. It's cold <laughs> enough. But yeah, you know this was this is that one, right? Yeah. Now. Next is the one that I accidentally wore on a vlog, and then someone got a picture of me out in the wild. Um, the brown one, right? Yes. Yeah. The chocolate uh, Lucky Charms. This is – it's hard for me to pick, but I think this one might be my favorite of the, of the three new ones. It looks like it's made out of, like, cocoa powder. It's so good. This brown is so, like, rich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like a – it's a different brown than the regular walnut, right? Or am I tripping? Yeah, it's like a darker, it's like a darker brown. Just, just look at the way this thing shines, though, man. My God. He's got right? that advanced color play. Oh, God, this thing is crazy. And then finally, this one's hooked to, like, uh, the Green Clover Limited Edition Lucky Charms box, which is a little bit more obscure than the other stuff. But take a look at this one. This one, I kind of feel like it fits the Lucky Charms theme the most, right? The green... Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I think all three of them do when you kind of mm -hmm. look at it, but you're right. I think the brown is the least like Lucky Charms-ish. Yeah. Just because it's chocolate Lucky Charms, but the other two definitely like they they, they just scream Lucky Charms. Mm -hmm. Well, obviously the, the, the red one is because the box, right? The box is red, but this one this one's yep. really nice, really slick. Yeah. these are, I mean, listen, these are great hats. So Here's what we're going to do, Leon. I think you and I both are going to do this. So we've got the three cereal hooked ones, right? And the Sean Wolder spoon that we're going to rank. So we got five here, right? So I want you to rank these in the order that you like them. You got the Wolder spoon. You got the original Lucky Charms. You've got the Green Clover Limited Edition. You've got the Chocolate Lucky Charms. And you've got the Lucky Charms Swiss Miss Hot Chocolate. So which order are you going in? I think you have it in the right order right there. So from oh, one, really? one to five, uh, from that wasn't spoon. my smoothest moment. You see that? I don't yeah, know. Yeah. You caught it though. I would say Wilder spoon one and then red two, green three, brown four, blue five, I think. Okay. All right. Here's the order I'm going to go in. Let's see how you do this. And I'm going to go red, original red Lucky one. Charms. Red being one? Yep. Okay. Sean Walderspoon, two. The Chocolate Lucky Charms, three. The uh, Limited Edition Green Clover Lucky Charms, four. And then the Swiss Miss Lucky Charms, number five. So kind of similar. We just flip two pairs, basically. Yeah. yeah. I mean, listen, you can't go wrong with these, right? No. No. They, these are all uh, created mass hysteria already. <laughs> For some reason, no one who would have guessed Buffalo Bisons. I know, man. I've been saying it, and I posted this somewhere on on Facebook, and people, oh, I hate that logo. I hate that. Well, you're yeah, in the minority. You playing? Yeah, you th the three of you that said that on my Facebook post, you're you're in the minority because these things people can't get enough of them. I mean, you could do this in like twenty colors, and people would get it. I want them all. Um, they're a Blue Jays affiliate, so give them up me and all Blue Jays iterations. Where was listening? Um, yeah. They used to be a Mets affiliate. You can do yep. them all Mets affiliate colorways. Even just retro how they used to wear them. Tell me these things <laughs> aren't crazy, dude. Yeah. Come it's on. A good, it's, it's, it's a good one. I've seen some yeah. in the wild where they, they didn't have the word mark. It's just a sliding guy. Oh, really? Um, the word mark sets it off, though, because the metallic. Yeah. 
in the bison's word mark is just crazy it just changes it all you know yeah like what i don't i can you think of any other logos that are sliding like not that many right no i know there's a sliding tiger but i've never seen on a hat yeah no i haven't either i haven't either yeah so i think um rare yeah so listen i think what we'll um you know what we'll do now is kind of outline what he's thinking right so in terms of release so i think he's kind of toyed with a couple different ideas but i think what's going to end up happening is um they're going to release uh one per week in the month of um december so that's okay. not the original lucky charms that one's gone not the sean walter spoon that's gone the chocolate uh the green clover and the swiss miss right around the corner gives you time to prepare yeah, but I think that's that's kind of the approach. But stay tuned. You know, I right now the my fitted Instagram is down for everybody that's wondering. So follow Russ at Sunset on Instagram because the my fitted Instagram is having some issues. So he's working on trying to rectify that. But for now, you know, just um just uh go with uh go with the Russ at Sunset Instagram. I don't know what the hell you just did, but so I was trying to open my Instagram because I know that they were posting a little bit from the walk in instagram oh yeah yeah they are yeah but yeah uh it started making noise closet gram closet gram but i think the best place to go is you can look there but the best place to go is gonna be rusted sunset yeah 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 well leon one of the hype one of one of the most hyped up logos of the year is the buffalo bisons uh predominantly because of john jay i mean who else i mean he's the one that put it on the map with that sean wolderspoon this year or 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 late last year whenever it was Mm -hmm. um but these are fantastic. I look forward to um, seeing folks posting these things once they get a hold of them. Beautiful hats, um, tricked out, um, advanced color play, like I said. So uh, undeniably great. Just keep doing what you're doing, John Jay, and the team over there. Yeah. With that, Leon, big fella, take us away. Yeah, let us know in the comments which, uh, which of these three um, you're most excited to acquire. Uh, make sure you guys are following uh, Russ at Sunset for all uh, updates and release information. For Leon and Pierre, we're signing out, guys. Stay fitted. See you, everybody.